Welcome to a brand new video. You're about to watch a 60 year old draw dropping tip from Ben Hogan that you haven't seen before on YouTube. In my opinion, this is his most important lesson and most important wording I have ever read in one of his books. Let's get into it. I'm PJ Gold Professional, Alex Elliott, top 50 world coach. And today we're answering this question because we are powered by you. If you are a brand new viewer, do subscribe, it's free, and turn on the bell to never miss an upload. This is this Thursday's video that I know will set you up for the weekend to strike your driver and your irons like you haven't before. This is what Ben Hogan said, execute the reminder of the downswing with gradual increase in tempo. Now the biggest thing that I see, I could stand on the tee here and watch them all on the first tee, and I reckon 96, 97% of golfers have no real tempo, no real control, and don't know how to feel that in the golf swing. Tempo is like this mythical, mythological creature that um, we all find it hard to create. Now that is not just you, it's also me. It's something that I have really struggled with in my golf game, so this video is gonna be a great reminder for me. Now. I've not only heard this and read this in the book from Ben Hogan, but I've been lucky enough to speak to Tony Jacklin and I asked him one question. What is the biggest lesson that any golfer could ever have? Improve their tempo, hit the golf ball so much better. So all you're gonna do in this video is we're gonna make five golf swings and I'm gonna show you how you can feel this, bring this into your game where we're concentrating on the tempo of the change from backswing to downswing so we can peak that speed at the ball, not peak that speed before. Got the hoop here to help us understand the concept. You do not need a hoop, so I don't need to go to any department store and buy one of these. It's just to help you understand. So the way I think about improving our tempo is feeling and using the momentum of the golf club. So we just said we want our speed to peak around the golf ball if this was a swing around the hoop we would make. I don't want you to throw it all the way here. I want you to have it thrown at the golf ball around here. Now think about it this way. I'm just gonna move off the ball for you so you can see this. If I swing this club back to here, let's just say I've made my position at the top of the backswing, it's here. And I let the club go and let the momentum of the head just swing down, the peak speed ends up around here. Watch that again, around here. I don't speed up here to slow down here. I let the speed gradually increase as it gets to the golf ball. Don't throw it away early. So I want you to think about a massive hula hoop, a massive circle all the way around us here where we're letting the speed gradually increase. We're not throw fast, save it. We're gradually increasing it. Now, to do this, we're gonna make five golf swings now that are gonna help you build this and feel this in your swing. And how I think about this, come closer here, listen to this advice, most important part of the video. You are gonna play golf this weekend, hopefully. It's Thursday, you might be playing tomorrow, Saturday, wherever. If you are playing, do get down in the comments. I'd love to know where you're watching from and if you're getting out on the course. And what I can't wait to hear is how good this tip is because I want you to warm up in the nets. You don't, need, you don't even need to see the golf ball fly. Warm up in the nets doing this. The tempo will be like you never had before. First things first, remember that circle all the way around us. Let's not think of the golf swing as being one constant speed back and through, or even two constant speeds back and through. I want you to think of it this way. The slowest segment of your swing is this area around chest height, whether that be on the way back all the way through. So the first two swings you're going to make are exactly like this. Hover the club, we're gonna go normal speed, slow, 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 speed up. Next swing, exactly the same. And really, if you've got some space, try this, follow this. Normal speed, slow, 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 speed up. And the final one, we're gonna make it where we actually have that intent of not hovering. So you can see that I'm making a real effort to have different speeds, to feel that smoothness and acceleration, gradual increase in tempo down at the ball. Okay, let's hit one here and from down the line, you're gonna see how far this ball goes with so little effort. 
again, down the line, this is exactly the tempo and the way I'd feel the gradual increase in speed into the golf ball. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use this six-year-old Ben Hogan tip. You're going to feel like you've got some crazy tempo that's going to help you hit it way longer.